Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zayn and today we'll be having a look at Solana. We'll also be taking a look at AV, quite a few different tokens to be quite honest. So this is actually going to be quite exciting. And we'll also go for a bit of Bitcoin news as well. We'll also do some price analysis, Solana and Avalanche. So right now, decentralized treasuries top 8.2 billion on Ethereum, 1.3 billion on Solana Deep, DAO. Analytics website DeepDAO began tracking data for DAOs built on Solana earlier this week. So there have been a sharp increase since the rise and fall of Constitutional DAO, a group that raises 45 million in ETH last year in a failed attempt to buy a limited edition copy of the US Constitution. And while DAOs still primarily exist on Ethereum, the network that powers the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, they're beginning to string up on competing with blockchains. So that's actually really good because I, I really like Solana. I support Solana fully in what they're doing because you can clearly see that Solana is way ahead of the curve. So according to DAO Analytics site Deep DAO, there's currently 9.5 billion held in DAO treasuries across the world, with 1.3 billion held by DAOs built on Solana alone, and the remainder 8.2 billion on Ethereum. Deep DAO expanded its database to include communities on Solana earlier this week. DAO ecosystem is spread into other chains and it's our mission to model the entire ecosystem, not just the Ethereum one. So this is actually quite interesting. Now in other news as well, DeFi's blue chip token, AV, we're up 17% amid the latest upgrades. DeFi's largest lending and borrowing protocol, AV, has just undergone a facelift. Now it's the native token, AV, and it's jumped double digits. So the latest downgrade to lending and borrowing protocol, AV, has been greeted with a swell of buy-in activities. The project's native ERC-20 token, AAVE, which is used for staking and governance on the platform, has raised more than 17% over the past 24 hours, including data pulled from Mark, including data pulled from Coin Market Cap. But that's not just the only thing. I'm recording this video on the 22nd of March, and the interesting thing is that this article was posted on the 17th of March. So at the time, AV is trading just over. 147 US dollars, a price that is still nearly 80% lower than the token's all time high of $636. And this was achieved back in May 2021. So updates include integration with various layer 2 scaling solutions and optimization for gas fees, tons of new crypto wallets integration, and a lot more. So we all know AV is the decentralized finance sector's largest protocol by total value locked. And another way of saying how much money is held is simply on the inside. So according to DeFi Llama, a data, a data dashboard for all things DeFi, AV commands a whopping 19.3 billion. With the entire sector holding more than 250 million, this gave AV a roughly 7 percent slice of the market why av version 3's new poll why av's new why av why av's why av's v3's new portal features could be a game changer the next generation of av pro the next generation of av protocol could change the game and here exactly is why so there were many notable changes included a new fixed yield mechanism called D3M, the project's native stablecoin, Day, is also officially decentralized now that Ethereum is one of the number one asset break in the coin. So we're quite familiar with Ethereum, the highs and the lows. It's a little bit unpredictable because we're not always sure if Ethereum is following Bitcoin footprints or if Bitcoin is following Ethereum. Now, wouldn't that be something quite interesting? So additionally, a 165 million Bitcoin Odyssey 
OKCoin stack aimed to accelerate Bitcoin adoption. So cryptocurrency exchange OKEX announced it's teaming up with a stack accelerator and stack foundation launch Bitcoin Odyssey, a grant program at 165 million in, in funding. The venture capital backed projects are aimed to propel Bitcoin and Ethereum as the go-to blockchain for decentralized application. So the idea is to help bring all the the elements of Web3, play to earn crypto games, DeFi, NFT, DAOs, and the metaverse over to Bitcoin. Up until now, Ethereum has been at the top of the blockchain for building decentralized applications or well known as dApps. But some Bitcoin developers wanted to see that change and stack aim to be platform's best chance to get it done. And now additionally, Avalanche Foundation spending $290 million to promote subnet development. The foundation want Web3 builders to develop a subnetwork using its technology. So the Avalanche Multiverse will be an ongoing initiative without the specified end date with at least six phases to support various projects, the foundation said in a statement. Subnets, also known as subnetworks, are validators that allows others to establish their own layer one or layer two blockchain on Avalanche. Because Avalanche is proof of stake, projects can become validators. Projects can become validators by staking the native token, also known as AVAX. DeFi Kingdom Play to Earn are built on Ethereum sidechain Harmony. And it's created its own Avalanche subnet as a part of the Multiverse initiative, along with a new Avalanche native token. It's amongst the first to benefit from the nine figure initiative. Know your customers features, allowing traditional financial institutions to build on the blockchain. So this is obviously great news. And so this is obviously great news. Avalanche is currently $87.90. It's doing really well right now, even in the last even within the last 24 hours, it was as high as 91 US dollars. And throughout the last month, it's actually been extremely low at some points, just around $66 at some points. And that was this year and the last month. So the buy-in percentage, the buy and hold philosophy is still extremely strong, especially for Avalanche. And now if we go back to a year, we'll notice that it's been much higher than just a hundred dollars, hundred and thirty four dollars. And this is all within the last year. But you have to understand that there were some times that it was as, just as low as ten dollars per coin just to manage the insane amount of profit that that has hold ninety dollars, basically ninety dollars flat. And it's ranked ninth in the world while Avalanche is ranked tenth. So this is going to be quite interesting. Avalanche market cap is 2.3 Avalanche market cap is 23.4 million and Solana market cap is 28.8 million. It's quite interesting. It follows the other cryptos very closely. Obviously, this is a part of the market of just everything, but there are some times that Solana was just as high as 258 US dollars. Some of you might be familiar with the way I'm talking about Solana because I've spoken about it many times before about everything to do with Solana because Solana is just a fantastic cryptocurrency for now and uh, that's not going to slow down anytime soon. So I'm excited to see what comes next for Solana. So I hope you've been enjoying this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment and of course I will see you in my next video.